and then Jacob's going to go up, and then the last three at that table are going to go up. I got to leave my stand up. One more time. I would like you, please, to make sure that your headphones are not in. Sorry, but if you're sitting here spending time with someone who's got a professional business, they don't want your headphones in. Yeah. Right here. What was that? All right, so who do I have? Sarge, Janie, Kinui, here Phil, Nick, Maverick. Okay. When we are done today, we're going to go ahead and uh, work on the insurance activity. Quick reminder, I have a purple pen over here. Quick reminder that we kind of got our schedule moved for us because they're taking our computers. Yes, so we are doing the insurance activity today. We're going to go back to your project again on Monday. We're going to do insurance again on Tuesday, and we're going to finish your project next Thursday. So a week from today, you have an extra couple of days for the project, OK? While we're waiting, Nick Lopez, they said you're going to craft it, yes? Next year? All right, let's see. Who else do I need to know? Uh, Chris, Martin, what are you doing next year? Where? Air Force. Nice job. You already got in. They already talked to you? Yes. Nice. Maps and everything. So I'm done. Uh, let's see. Nick Melville, what are you doing next year? Crafting. Crafting. That's going to be overloaded with engineers next year. Sabrina, while you're here, what are you doing next year? So you don't have a job, you don't have a plan, you don't have anything? Nope. All right, so we're just going to sit on her couch and chill for an hour. Yeah. I have to be bored at the end of the hour, so I'm just saying. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 John needs oh. going to no, no. Yes? Yeah. Let's see. Gallon. Uh, let's see. Giovanni, what are you doing next year? Uh, Harvard, Southern Hills. 
Uh, no, actually, I knew that wasn't going to work. Miguel, no, no, you trust me, no, no. You know someone got into Harvard, it would be all over school. Bobby, did you apply to Harvard? Uh-huh. He's trying. Miguel, where are you going next year? Did you go to Harvard? Did you apply? Where are you going next year? Pomona? Got Pomona? Actually, if you're going for engineering, you want to have a lot of Side. Brain surgeon. Yeah, let's try a little different. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for that. Brain surgeon 102. 102. Yeah, 101 is way too easy. I took the place and they put me in 102. And Jamie. SPSU, you're already on there. Okay. Funny, they have Chris on here too. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, that's bad. I was really hoping to. Um, <laughs> what was. <laughs> it is a Why? <laughs> Look at that. All right. Well, we're waiting. One, two, Yeah, these two people are all the same. Yeah, they keep using the same people. No, the topic is the same. One, two, three, and one more. One, two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I realize he's not on yet, but I am asking you once again to please put your phones away. It is extremely unprofessional in the middle of this type of an activity for you to be on your phone. It is not appropriate. Okay? Headphones as well. Those should not be out. Um, I'm going to give a little bit more time. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm going to take longer, but so be it. Okay? Uh, I totally gave you the page on purpose, guys, the book. We're going to be covering insurance. Insurance is one of those things that people tend to forget about. We're going to be investigating a couple of things that are going to benefit you. Um, but I'd like you to go ahead and start with kind of skimming those first couple of pages. That's the introduction. We're going to be starting a little bit past that. A, A, Ron, A, 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 all right can you guys do me a favor keep an eye on the front see if uh see if it pops up there we go all right wonderful Hi, Hello? can you see me? Can you hear me? Do you have sound right now? Oh, that's better. Can you hear me? We still don't we have still sound for you. You want to try across the top and make sure your microphone's working? Is your mic? He's can, muted. He's muted. He's muted. No. So that's, can that's on his side. That's on his side. I think so. I'm still not hearing you. <laughs> How about? 
Can you try? Can you cr try across the top? No. Okay. So, can you hear us? I can hear you. Guys. Yay! Okay. <laughs> You, can you maybe turn up your volume a little bit? Maybe that would help with, on your actual computer. I can try. There you go. A computer without a mic right now? Actually, no. Your computer doesn't have a mic. All right. <laughs> so you can hear us. We can't hear you still. Yeah. Yeah. ASL only works if he has the ASL too. Guys. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that working? I think, guys, I think I heard you. Can you try again? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's just very, very, very faint. I think my volume's up as high as it'll go. Yeah, mine too. I'm trying. All right, let's try this again. Can you hear me? Oh, there we are. We can hear you now. <laughs> Thank you so much for working with us. I appreciate it. I know it's not as easy as I would like it to be, but I'm Heather Leon. I am the, the teacher here, and I greatly appreciate the fact that you're willing to work with us. Um, can we get started? Have my students come and ask you some questions? You certainly can. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Marco, you're up. So uh, where does most of your manufacturing take place and how do you decide on those locations? Uh, very good question. Uh, let, let me explain a little bit about uh, who we are. Uh, so uh, I work for Monster Energy, so it's a fabric company. Uh, so most of our manufacturing does in fact take place in, in the United States. Uh, however, over the course of the last five years, we have expanded into uh, 134 countries. Um, so uh, we have uh, moved quite a bit of our manufacturing for our international markets uh, outside of the US. Um, how do we do it? Uh, well, actually, we have a team here that works uh, called our network design team. Uh, they look at uh, potential manufacturing sites, uh, look at the capital investment required to, to uh, convert one of those sites to run our products. Uh, in addition to that, look at the cost of supplying all the ingredients, materials, packaging into those facilities. Um, from that, we get a, an X-Works cost uh, for each of our products. Uh, then you look at the freight, duties, taxes, uh, it costs to move any of those products from that location to any of the destination cities around the world. <coughs> Ultimately, it gives us a big uh, equation with delivered costs uh, into those cities. We overlay that with our expected volume by SKU. And after quite a bit of computation, you come out with the, the optimal location uh, with which to source uh, products. I don't know that. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, uh, for our second question, if there are no free trade policies, how much would your freight costs and your transportation related damages go up? Oh, um, th th that's actually a, a hard question to answer because uh, freight uh, costs are a, a commodity. Uh, is probably the best way to look at it. Um, you know, if you're going around the world, and certainly if you're going by ocean, there are so many ships that typically go from port A to port B. Um, uh, if you think of your your, your Wi-Fi and your bandwidth, uh, the more data, the more product you're trying to get down any of those uh, freight lines, the higher the demand, the higher demand, the higher the cost. Um, but uh, I think if you can uh, relate that in a, in a beverage product, the, the, the main ingredient is in fact water. Uh, water is a, a very expensive product due to, to weight and volume uh, to ship around the world. 
Uh, so actually freight costs is one of our uh, major cost drivers uh, and it's for most beverage organizations. So I'm sorry, I, I can't give you a, a direct question to that, but um, it would, if there were, if, if there was truly free trade around the world, it, it absolutely would impact uh, the decision on where we make and where. So um, does better communication with businesses in other countries increase sales or popularity in those countries? Uh, I, I'm going to say yes. Uh, now, we're in a field of uh, uh, sales and marketing, which is, which is not a, a field that I personally work in. Uh, I, I look after operations uh, amongst a, a few other uh, areas here at Monster. Um, but the, the Monster brand is built on, um, uh, if you like, social media. Uh, you know, you will you will not see a, a TV advert for, for Monster Energy. You, you'll not see it in, in, in press uh, or even on radio. Uh, it, it's all through uh, sponsorship of, of events and uh, let's say, social media. So yes, we absolutely believe that helps uh, drive communication and sales. And in fact, one of the biggest drivers for Monster uh, in terms of uh, growing globally is protection of our brand uh, in countries where we operate today because the brand is known through the internet and, and through our uh, uh, sports marketing in particular uh, so it's critical that we get sales in these countries to protect our trademark so uh, does bringing in materials from other countries decrease the manufacturing costs for your company uh, Actually, uh, more the more the opposite. Uh, typically, uh, it, it is always cheaper to source materials locally. Uh, now, not all materials are, uh, are grown or manufactured in all countries, so that obviously restricts where you can uh, get products from. And certainly, if you're in flavors that involve juices, um, you know, certain fruits and uh, vegetables only, only grow in, in certain parts of the world. Uh, so that does drive uh, importation uh, of products. Uh, and that's where free trade uh, comes in. Uh, there are rules not just within certain countries, but within certain regions. Um, so if we want to operate in Europe, for instance, um, and we want to be orange, uh, orange juice is really a protected uh, ingredient in Europe. So although it is far cheaper to source externally uh, and ship into Europe, um, from a logistics point of view, by the time you look at the tariffs that are imposed on that type of ingredient, you, you, you are really forced to source it locally. Anyway. Um, so, uh, Monster Energy has a recent partnership with Coca-Cola affected global and international business? Yeah, very good question. Um, uh, we, we uh, as an organization, uh, chose to uh, align ourselves with Coca-Cola, mainly because the one, the one strength that Coca-Cola has as an organization is as a distributor of products. Uh, they have presence globally around the world. I don't believe there's a country uh, on, on the globe where the US, where Coca-Cola does not have um, a distribution uh, infrastructure. And so for Monster Energy, it, it's allowed us, uh, as I said earlier, you know, we've been good for countries in the last five years. The, the bulk of those, and I'm going to say you know, 90 plus of those countries have happened in the last two years. Uh, and without a, a partnership with Coca-Cola, No way. Um, so people often say that foreign trade is taken away from American potential. Does your trade with other countries actually help increase our economy 
and what are the possible negative side effects for taking away foreign trade for you specifically? Uh, you know, I, well, there's, there's a difference, uh, I think, when you look at, you know, what, what's good for the economy of the country, um, what is good for the economy of individuals, uh, and, and uh, if you like, social responsibility uh, within a country. Um, so, no doubt, uh, from the economic side, for the US, we are a US based company, all our profits regardless of where they are created in the world ultimately come back to the US and there's a you know, good US corporation, we pay our taxes, etc. Uh, so it's certainly uh, beneficial, you know, I believe for the US from a, from a tax perspective. Uh, you know, however, on, on an individual basis, you know, if we didn't manufacture could we, uh, Mexico or Argentina or Brazil, Canada, or A, etc. Those goods would actually uh, be manufactured probably a lot less uh, than we do today. Um, but we still, you know, manufacture those goods in the U.S. and, and ship those products out. So I, I guess, you know, indirectly, that does have an impact on on jobs uh, within the U.S. Um, however. Obviously, if you ship from the US, your cost of goods are far more expensive, so it's harder to compete, and ultimately you would sell less. So I just want to say thank you once again. Um, I know my students really had an interest in finding out some real information. Do you have anything else that you know your country has been, Im or sorry, your business has been impacted by international trade, either that it's good for your business or that it's bad for your business? Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, that's a very open question. Um, you know, as it, it is, it is a challenge uh, as a global organization. You know, every day rules, regulations change, uh, tariffs change. You know, often at, a, at what appears to be a whim and, and without any notice within countries, and, and that can have a huge impact on. You know the, the, the desired infrastructure that you want as an organization and plans and, and capital that you've spent uh, moving manufacturing into into an area uh, so if I look at uh, you know recently we have spent a lot of, a lot of time and money um, putting uh, manufacturing into India uh, with the intent of being able to ship that product uh, particularly into you know to the middle east and, and what we refer to as the stands uh and uh eastern asia um however recently with uh various, various changes to tariffs of ingredients coming into india um that has now made that cost prohibitive uh, so it, i mean it is a challenge every day uh, and it's certainly not a stable environment. Um, so as, as governments change and, and uh, various groups gain power politically within markets and help protect um, their own areas, it, it changes every day and we have to adapt to it. All right, once again, I'd like to thank you so much for giving us some of your time. If I could have the rest of my class tell them thank you as well. Thank you. No problem. And I'll thank let you. you get back to your day. Thank you very much. Have a good day.